Hey hi, welcome back to the series of automotive cyber security sessions. I am Dr. Krishna Hema, your automotive consultant. So this is lesson two. Let us consider an example. Mr. Steve is a normal IT employee like you and me who uses ABC car. That means I don't want to reveal the company of the car which can be locked and unlocked with key fob that is through signal. By pressing a button, it will open and close or lock or unlock. Okay, he has his personal data and infotainment applications, which includes audio video files, social media, games, etc., which with his Gmail account logged in. Steve one day started his car to attend an important meeting with his client. He observed that there is something wrong with the head unit. So it looks very same. It looks like a new one since it is reset completely and everything is erased. Initially, Steve could not be able to access his own account, own email account since the attacker changed the passwords of them. Also, Steve observed that there are inappropriate, illegitimate content posted in his social media accounts like pornographic links, anti-national comments or the photos, racist comments like which started appearing in his social media accounts. And Steve realized that his car, social media accounts and his email got hacked or attacked by an attacker. Here is an explanation which tells more about CIA triad. It is very crucial in cybersecurity. How these things are compromised in this particular attack. This attack compromised on confidentiality by accessing or viewing Steve's private data and password protected accounts. Attacker compromised on this with this attack. He compromised on um, integrity by on authorized modification of the social media contents like inappropriate or illegitimate posts and even deleted his head unit data permanently. With this attack, he compromised on availability by changing Steve's account passwords, locked his accounts, even he deleted information in, in that particular uh, device. Every one of us think that the hackers need high skill in coding. So it's like it is not necessary to get a, a high skilled in coding. So a hacker can hack a system without writing even a single line of code. So with this, a hacker writes even not even a single line of code is called script kiddy. So like uh, the code which is written to add attack is called as is called as attack code that means like you know the code which is written to perform attack which is generally a scripting language so also as i said before like the hack these kind of hackers like which does who doesn't know significant uh, programming language skill is called script kiddie this attacker or hacker used only device only a device to get access to car and this device is called uh, the uses of this device is called physical attack because the attacker is present in attacked uh, place or uh, at the attacked assert since he got access into car he is physically present in the car whereas if the attacker performs the attack remotely by accessing the car through internet or any other networking so which enable means like which does remotely is called remote attack in this attack attackers formed a syndicate to do car thefts or sensitive data theft and this method is called relay attack in this in this a device is used it will be there which targets on new generation cars that have keyless entry and ignition technology it's different from a known signal jamming device so which used to pre prevent the vehicle from locking so attackers can access it but this is somewhat different this device gives a hackers or attackers access to the cars by copying the signal 
by which they can unlock and start the car and drive away also this device intercepts the signal uh, sent by the key fob while looking for the linked car allowing attackers to open it and steal the contents or you know the valuable things which are kept inside or even modify the data or uh, or you know steal the vehicle itself completely so here is the example like attackers attack path is nothing but attack path is nothing but root map of the attack so which is not very simple that means it nothing but uses of device attackers checked for the attack feasibility so which is the easiest way to get into or to enter and perform the attack so waited till the car owner uses key fob to copy the signal is the attack feasibility so this is an example too now let us consider another example of mr mark who uses apple laptop google mail he thought mac os is the safest os and he just kept his name as a password simply name as a password also it was tough for mark to remember his password so he used the same password for everything for all accounts he didn't enable two step verification for his google mail so all these blue marked ones in the in this particular page are called vulnerabilities vulnerabilities are nothing but weaknesses or attack prone areas so in general attack path so before like you know we got to know like attack path was very simple with the uses of device and attack feasibility is like you know the hacker uh, just waited till the uh, driver means like the owner clicks the uh, key fob but uh, let us take in general how it happens attack path and attack feasibility so in general the attacker will collect all the information of the user uh, which is available in public or in public network like you know or the social media network or like you know by googling whatever how 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 much ever the research he could do he will collect all the information about that particular user He'll, his full name uh, his pet name his mobile number his email address his physical address and uh, date of birth his family member names his pet names it's like dogs names cat names and you know uh, his uh, everything everything whatever they could they could be able to collect they could they will collect it and they'll keep that information ready so uh, and then attacker checks for the attack feasibility attack feasibility is nothing but which is the easiest way to get into the uh, to perform the attack so he will start like uh, uh, he he will call the customer care of any e-commerce app which the particular user is using and ask for the resetting password or any other like you know which has see when when he gets into the next step he will get some more information he will get some more information something like that so when he called up imagine like he is calling amazon or flipkart or something like you know e-commerce or ebay something like that so he called the customer care and he asked to reset the password pretending that the attacker is as user so the customer care executive will ask like what is your name and what is your maternal uh, name uh, something like you know your date of birth or your is it means like something all these details he will ask and uh, you know once he gain the confidence um, then he reset it say he reset it some somehow the attacker could be able to convince the customer care executive and he could be able to reset his password uh, as per uh, this hacker hackers uh, uh, or the attackers uh, um, um, attackers point of view and once after doing it so he collected the information of the last four digits of his credit card or uh, his uh, credit card expiry date also on the debit cards like the list of cards credit cards debit cards his addresses his uh, his uh, uh, means like his addresses and his relative addresses whatever it is like you know he could be able to collect from that 
like he will take all the information from that particular e-commerce website or the application and even hacker the next step as a next step like he could be able to uh, the attacker will call the cust uh, the mobile network provider and uh, and says like you know somebody theft my mobile and uh, uh, kindly block my sim card and uh, when he blocks and immediately he'll go with a fake id of the user uh, to that particular uh, mobile network office and he will submit it and he'll get a new sim with the same number and uh, with that like he could be able to generate the one-time password and he could be able to access the bank account and he can take all his money in the bank account so this is kind of attack path like you know how did he start and how did he end in his like you know for his own benefit the attacker could be able to get the money from the user account is the goal of the attacker so this entire thing is called attack path and the attack feasibility is the starting point or the weakest point like in that but in that entire uh, um, path so in example two mark experienced attack is called as exploit in example one steve's car could get easily theft or attacker may take away his valuable belongings but the attacker choose to delete or alter his content to defame him in society and changed or blocked the accounts so the impact is high the impact may be high when the attacker steals the the impact would be high okay and uh, when attacker steals the car risk is a combination of impact and attack feasibility of the threat with this i came to the end of the topic like don't forget to subscribe my channel hit on the notification icon and you could see every week a new video so if you want further more automotive videos please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for your time and always you can reach out to me in my mail id that is askhemadota at gmail.com